This is section 4.4, find slope and rate of change. Vocabulary, the slope of a non-vertical line is the ratio of the vertical change to the horizontal change between any two points on the line. We always represent slope with the letter M. And if you look at my picture down here, another way to think about vertical change, the up and down, is the rise. And another way to think about horizontal change is the run. Okay, and then a rate of change just compares a change in one quantity to a change in another quantity. So slope is specifically the rate of change in horizontal and vertical change but we can put that into the context of a word problem, for example. Okay, so to find slope, we have a formula. Remember, we represent slope with m. So our formula is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Okay, remember, those subscripts, the numbers don't mean anything. They're just a symbol. So, x1, x2 just represents one of the two points, and x2, y2 represents the other point. So, if we subtract the x values, we get the run, or the change in the horizontal distance. And if we subtract the y values, we get the rise, or the change in the vertical distance. So, another way to think of slope is rise over run or change in y over change in x. So if you look at our graph over here, think about x2 is there, x1 is there, so by subtracting them you're getting the change in the horizontal distance. And again over here, if y1 is there and y2 is about there, by subtracting you're getting the vertical distance. Okay, so let's look at an example. If we want to find the slope of the line that's graphed over to the right, first we need to see what are our two points. So they've been nicely labeled for us. We have points at negative 4, 2, and 2, 6. So it actually doesn't matter which one you pick as the first point and which you pick as the second. So in this case, we'll go ahead and pick x1, x1, comma y1 as negative 4, 2, and x2, comma y2 as 2, 6. So then, remembering our slope formula, m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, or in other words, change in y over change in x. Now we just plug it in. So we have y2, which is 6, minus 2 which is y1, so we're looking at this value and this value, over 2 minus a negative 4, so x2 minus x1. Well, 6 minus 2 is 4, and 2 minus a negative 4 is 2 plus 4, or 6, and 4 over 6 can be reduced to 2 over 3, or 2 thirds. So our slope is 2 thirds. And with slope, you always, always want to leave it as a fraction. So don't try to write that as a decimal. In this particular example, the line is rising from the left to the right. So it's going up. You can almost think about a roller coaster going up. So it has a positive slope. And again, numerically, two-thirds is a positive number. Okay, so let's do another example. Find the slope of the line shown. So remember, you can find the slope between any two points that fall on the line, but in this case, we have two that are nicely marked for us. So, first we have our points, 6, negative 1, and 3, 5. So to use my formula, m is going to equal 5 minus a negative 1 over... 3 minus 6. 
Well, 5 minus the negative 1 is 5 plus 1, or 6, over 3 minus 6, which is negative 3. And now to simplify, 6 divided by negative 3 is negative 2. And again, you can see over here, it goes down 6 and to the right 3. So that matches what we found here. And again, this is a downward slope, so now you can imagine going down the other side of the roller coaster or going down a ski slope. And because it's going down, we say the slope is negative. Okay, just to show you that it doesn't matter which point you pick, I want to do this again. But this time, my first point is going to be 3, 5, and my second point is going to be 6, negative 1. So again, plugging in, I have m equals negative 1 minus 5 over 6 minus 3. Well, negative 1 minus 5 is negative 6. 6 minus 3 is 3. And again, that simplifies to negative 2. So we got the same slope either way. The important part is that you keep this consistent. So these both need to be the second point, and these both need to be the first point. You can't mix those up. Alright, so let's do one more example. Find the slope of the line that passes through the points 0, 6, and 5, negative 4. So here it's been listed out instead of on a graph, but it still works the same way. So my slope m is equal to y2 negative 4 minus 6 y1 over x2 minus x1 5 minus 0 well negative 4 minus 6 that's negative 10 5 minus 0 that's 5 negative 10 divided by 5 is negative 2 Okay, so we've talked about horizontal and vertical lines before, but now I want to talk about what kind of slope these lines have. So let's find it again, just like we did before. m equals y2, 4, minus y1, 4, over 4 minus negative 2. Well, on top, 4 minus 4 is 0. 4 minus a negative 2 is 4 plus 2, or 6. But 0 divided by anything is really just 0. So remember, a horizontal line is always going to have the same y values. So you're always going to end up with 0 on top. So the slope of a horizontal line is always 0. So remember, we talked about hoy to help you remember that a horizontal line has an equation that's y equals well that o in the middle is there to help you remember that a horizontal line has a slope of zero so then looking at a vertical line let's do a similar thing find the slope again y2 1 minus y1, 5, over x2, 3, minus x1, 3. 1 minus 5 is negative 4, over 3 minus 3 is 0. But we cannot divide by 0. So anytime you end up with a 0 on the bottom, that just means that your slope is undefined. So now, again, let's go back to our acronym. We had hoy vux. So VUX was there to remind us that a vertical line has an x equals equation. And the U is there to remind us that a vertical line has a slope that is undefined. Okay, I want to show you one more example, but there's actually a different way to find the slope. And it's called the racetrack method. So the formula, you definitely need to know the formula, but another way to set it up just to remind yourself 
to make sure that the y values are on top is called the racetrack method. So you're going to write you're going to write one point on top and then the other point right beneath it. And then you're going to draw a racetrack. So between the two numbers and down. Or you could call it an L, whatever you want. And now you're going to subtract and make sure that the numbers stay on their side of the racetrack. So 6 minus 3, well, that's 3. And 4 minus a negative 2 is actually 4 plus 2 is 6. So our slope is 3 over 6, or that reduces to 1 half. Again, leave that as a fraction. But we found the slope. So racetrack method is another way that you can do it. And again, just to remind you, a slope, a line with a positive slope, in other words, the m, the slope, is greater than zero, means that it is rising from left to right. It's going up. A line with a negative slope falls from left to right. It's going down. And so it, that slope is going to be less than zero, or a negative number. And then again, a line with zero slope is horizontal. Remember our acronym. And a line with undefined slope is vertical. And that's it.